Hello everyone, wanted to show you this piece of side content today. Uh, I just discovered it the other day. I think you have to be somewhere past version 3.0 for it to even be unlockable. So this is in the false Grand Zazor Kingdom, not the true Grand Zazor, the false one. You're gonna talk to this guy, you're gonna say no to him, and then he's gonna ask you to do an emote for him. It's going to be sleep. You can get this from the Grant Metal King for about 15 gold medals. Now what's nice about this content is the rewards. These rewards can be quite lucrative. Golden petals can be sold to a, any vendor for 100k gold each. That's right, you don't sell it to the pl player auction, you just sell it like, an, like any other trash item. The 100 medals tickets, you use them to get 100 medals. And you can use the mini medals to buy Drazel leaves to help yourself, or you can use them to purchase any of the tradable books or materials that's on there that sells for a good amount of gold. Most players will just take it and get as many materials as they can to just go ahead and place it on the player market to get more gold out of it. I have not, I have yet to find another use for mini metals beyond that. There might be something later on in the road though, that's why I've been keeping on mine. I got about 2800 mini metals right now, I think, and I got about over 90 golden petals. <laughs> and a lot of gold bars and a lot of rubia gold coins, to be quite honest. If I sold, vendored all that stuff, I probably would make around 12, maybe 13 million gold just vendoring all that. And money is what you all want and need because equipment... such as this stuff here, can be expensive. This is my endgame equipment right now, at least until they release some other armor later on. And this stuff's expensive. Okay, I'll tell you that right now, this stuff is expensive. This right here cost me about 16 million gold. This was about 9 million. This was 14 million. This was about 8 million. And this was 7 million. And it provides me all those bonuses. Now, what this is all about is... You'll be fighting enemies that you fought in the past. For points. Anytime you clear any one of these challenges, you get a point. And you only get it once. But there are 15 pages of bosses. So you'll have no problems getting 300. Now the hard ones are these particular fights. These have you fight enemies that are tuned to specialized groups. Like some of them are just insanely powerful. They can even one shot me. Although I'm not fully de completely developed yet and I still have a lot of accessory grinding to get more stuff to g gain. But these kind of bosses can one-shot myself, even. Uh, they can one-shot anybody else. <laughs> uh, you have to pretty much go into these with a full 110 plus party with as much HP on as possible. And each particular type of super boss that you fight from these, all right, has a... Uh, particular way of fighting them based on what they do. You might need certain party members, you might need to have a paladin and try to just keep them alive. Um, I know there are some voc there's a vocation that can actually increase maximum HP for another. But generally you wanna don't want to do these um, unless you have a party or at least a support party good enough to be able to do it. But for a lot, for quite, like, many of them, I was able to succeed in doing them by just walling off the boss myself. Now that I've found the Master Orb for my uh, weight down ability, uh, I've been able to get it off on all the bosses I've encountered so far, so I've been able to wall them off myself and push them back without any help. 
But you want to try to do these because if you are able to do them and able to do the hidden objectives, you get more points. But again, you don't have to worry about it. 300 is the max. I don't know if there's any awards beyond 300 because you clearly get more than 300 points considering all these enemies here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you an example. Let's go ahead and fight whichever one this is. Again, these are all bosses that you fought before. If you have not been fighting them on hard mode, I suggest you go into your gameplay settings and set your solo and party to hard. Oh, it's this guy. Because reason being is hard mode is the actual real difficulty of each boss. They are what the developers intended for you to fight them as.
sadly some are immune to weight break, especially since they don't have any weight to begin with at all. This was floating in the air, so it's obvious. That's it. Obviously, start with the first ones on the list, because they're the weakest ones, and then work your way up until you get to 300, but that's up to you. I'll probably grind out this content at some point later on. Again, there's just so much to do. But, uh, yep, that is it. So again, it's after some time after 3.0, I think. It could even be after 4.0, because this quest had a 4.0 marker. You fight past bosses. There are super hard enemies that you can try to take on for extra points. You don't necessarily have to fight them, though. Because there's more than enough mon bosses. And if it goes beyond... If there's prizes beyond 300, and I manage to get the time to go all the way up to that, it's going to be a lot of fights. I will let you guys know. And that is it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you all give this a shot. Take care now.